when you are finished writing your code, or sometimes you might want to be checking your code as you write it, then what we can do is check that code by running a validation test on it. Now here we have our Gettysburg address file we've been working on. And in Blackboard, I've given you links to the sites where you can go and have this tested. So this first one, which says W3C, which stands for the World Wide Web Consortium. The first link here is to the markup validation service. And since it says markup, then of course we're talking about HTML. So we're going to select this link and it takes us to a page where we can check our code by direct input. So what I'm going to do is come back over into our editor and I'm going to use control A to select all of that code and then control C to copy it. Then I'll come back over into the validation service here and control V to just paste that code right here into the window. And then we'll come down and check our code for validation. This is going to check for two things. It'll check for errors and it will also check for warnings that we need to be aware of. And when it comes up with a response, then this window up here shows your code, but down here shows what we're interested in. It shows that the document checking is completed and no errors or warnings here are shown. So you know here that your code is valid. Now, the fact that it's valid doesn't necessarily mean that there are no mistakes. I'll give you an example of that. So I'll close this page, we'll try again. So I'm gonna come back over into our code editor and here on line 13, I'm just gonna take out this last P tag. Just delete it entirely. Control S to copy. And then go back through these steps. I'm going to control A to select it all and control C to copy. I'm going to come back, go to that page for validation, paste the text in there, check. And you can see again, it says that there are no errors or warnings. Now, let me just explain this. How can it be that there are no errors or warnings if, in fact, our code is not the way I've told you it needs to be written with opening and closing P tags around all of the paragraphs. This is because HTML5, which is the version of code that we are working with, this is a very forgiving language. It allows you to make mistakes and still to have code that is valid in the sense that it will display well through a web browser so it, the code will work if you forget to put a closing P tag. So back over in our code here, we see an opening P tag on line 13. And remember I said when we first started learning this, that the closing P tag explains where the end of that paragraph should be. And we had placed it right here after the, the words here are created equal. But then we have a new opening P tag right here. So the browser is going to be able to make sense out of a mistake like this. So just be aware that when you test your code for validation, the fact that you get a message that says no errors or warnings are there to show doesn't mean that there are no mistakes. In this case, this would cost you points when I grade your work because I want to see opening and closing P tags. Now, the reason for this is, like I said, is that HTML5 is very forgiving, but there are other versions of HTML that are totally unforgiving and that a mistake like this, failing to include a closing P tag, could create big problems. So this is why I'm trying to teach you to write the code correctly, even though the version of code that we're working with is very forgiving. Let me give you one other example here. I'm going to come up to the title tags up here on line 8, and I'm just going to delete the closing title tag, then Control-S to save that, then Control-A 
Control C to copy. It's going to open a new validation tool here. I'm going to run this again. So paste it in here. Check it. Ah, now you can see here it's found an error. So this is a mistake of leaving off a closing tag that actually creates a validation error because you might leave off a closing P tag in your code. But if you leave off the closing tag of some of the elements, you're going to get a big warning like this, and this would create problems. So how can we find where the problem is? Well, right here it says error, and it says end of file. So what in the world does that mean? Well, if we click on this link right here, it says at line 24, column 7. Scroll down, we can see line 24. We see it highlighted here in yellow. So what does that tell us? That's just the end of the file. In fact, that's exactly what this message says. It's at the end of the file. If we come down to the second one and click on this link, then it shows us, ah, here's your problem. You have the opening title tag, but there is no closing title tag at the end of that line. So what we would have to do would be to come back in and just put in less than and then forward slash. And Emmet should fill in the rest of that closing tag for you. So Control S to save, Control A, Control C to copy. Go back to our validation service, paste our code, run a check, and now we see that there are no errors. At least there are no validation errors that are being reported. So just be aware that no errors when you validate does not mean it's perfect, but it just means that it would work on the web. Be sure and always check for those closing tags, opening tags. Make sure that the syntax of your file is exactly as it should be.